We are also being joined today by Chidebere Ibe uh, from Zambia, who is a Forbes featured medical illustrator, TEDx speaker, a medical student, and a professional among the few in Africa. As he is the founder of Championing Change Africa, his journey has been defined by Orton, Orton City, relentless uh, hard work, and an unwavering commitment to excellence. Well, gentlemen, if you can hear us, Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Chidebere. Can you hear us? Good morning. Back in 2021, you shocked Nigeria and the continent as a whole. Can you talk us through how you came about the initiative to become a medical illustrator? All right. Um, thank you. So I think that was in 2020, during the lockdown, where... Um, I, I met my mentor, Dr. Oreck Sidney, um, who is, uh, was at Harvard at then. So then I had passion for medicine and art. And, um, and he said to me, why not go into medical illustration? Why not combine your passion for art and medicine? And for me, I was like, okay, that is a great idea. You know, but while making research around you know, medical illustration, I realized that you know, there is so much that we can do in terms of representing black people in medical literature. So um, pretty much I started learning how to, because prior then I was just an artist, so I had to learn how to use Photoshop and I had to learn how to, you know, draw medical illustration, the anatomy. And back then I wasn't a medical student, you know, and, um, and on YouTube, there were no tutorials on YouTube that, that teach you how to be a medical illustrator. So everything I learned was self thoughts you know, I had to learn how to use Photoshop and how to learn how to draw anatomy, you know, from scratch. And it was pretty much a difficult process. But I think in that journey, I realized that, you know, there's so much I can do with medical illustration. So that's pretty much how I started illustration. I think that was pretty much during the lockdown in 2020. Now, do you think off the back of what you've been able to achieve, I, I'm very sure a lot of people will laugh when you say medicine and arts as a subject in the university. Uh, this is just in the span of four years. You perfected understanding anatomy and being able to illustrate it using technology. Do you think that our curriculum needs to shape in a form to embrace an inclusion of the sciences and arts to birth maybe a special department of medical arts for black illustration to gain grounds on what you have been able to set the ground for? Absolutely. I mean, that has been what I've been advocating for, um, a review in medical curricula, because um, there is an integral part of art in medicine, right? For example, those who are training to be surgeons, right, who um, are going to be dissecting, you know, the human body, you need to have an artistic mindset to be able to dive down into the into the complexity of the human body, right? And that's what art helps you achieve. So if you're training medical students to be good at diagnosing, to be good at being great surgeon, I mean, there's a need to integrate art into what they learn. I mean, recently there was, a, there was an article that I read some time ago that showed that students who had artistic processes did better, right? And became better medical doctors, became good at diagnosing conditions, and they had better outcome in healthcare. So I strongly believe that art has a, a key role in improving outcome for medicine. And for me, for example, you know, training to be a medical doctor, for example, I've had cases where I diagnosed some skin conditions that doctors had missed. Last month, I had a patient who, um, uh, one of my fa my uh, followers on Instagram, reached out to me and said, "Oh, her doctor was misdiagnosed four times by different doctors who were trained, who are professionals, because they didn't know how certain skin condition looked like on black skin." But while looking at it, the image she sent to me, at the split of second, I knew what the condition was. And that is because I've been exposed to a lot of illustrations that show how these images look like on black skin. So art in medicine has greater outcomes, how can improve greater outcome for a patient and can also train medical students to be better at diagnosing these set of skin, skin conditions. Let's get our parting shots from Chile Abere in Zambia. And let's get a message to the youths across the world, particularly Nigerians in diaspora and how we can sustain development growth in Nigeria by going, being good ambassadors. All right, thank you so much for um, for that. Um, my closing thought would be that um, I'm just going to quote what one of my friends always say, Tundo Nokoya, that it's possible to do great things from small places, right? Um, for me, rising to success has been, I mean, I grew up in Uyo, I've been in Uyo all my life, but you know, I wasn't thinking Uyo, right? I was thinking global. So it is possible that wherever you are as a Nigerian, as a black person, that you can 
create a sustainable change in the environment by identifying a problem, right, and being willing to solve that problem, right? And I strongly believe that everyone who's constantly doing his or her best, right, with no amount of, you know, complacency or, or um, doing a amount of genuineness, right, would definitely have great success. And this has always been my, my message to young people, right? Or identify a problem, right? Find yourself, right? And then you become that that's that solution to your problem. And 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 just to wrap it up by saying that, you know, success is guaranteed to everyone, right? But the journey has never always been um, um not easy. So, but I just want to encourage everyone out there that you know, as young people, we need to see how to create changes in environment and see how to promote Nigeria's name and change the negative narrative. Thank, have thank you very much, GDB. We appreciate you. Time is almost not our friend. We appreciate you, and we wish you all the best in your sojourns.